Hello, my people, and welcome to Wish Me Luck Meta Detecting. I do have a problem with my Equinox 800. It's dead. Okay, it's not uh, charging. Uh, so I haven't been able to use it lately. Um, and I'm going to call my lab. I got uh, a number uh, for the regional my lab uh, center and uh, they have a repair uh, center number that you can call and uh, that's what I'm going to do right now okay so let's call my lab to see what they say about this issue Thank you for calling my Lab Americas. Please leave a detailed message with your name, number, and the nature of your phone, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, so uh, leaving a message. I did that yesterday and uh, I'm still waiting. Um, all right, let me, let me wait until they call me back. I spoke to a local mine lab uh, dealer and actually this number is from uh, the regional mine lab dealer. Uh, but they don't take the call. You have to leave a message. And then I believe that there are so many calls that um, you have to line up. Um, so this local dealer, he told me that probably the battery is the culprit here that is not charging. Um, so I don't know if my Equinox is still in warranty. The warranty is transferable, just so that you know. And that's what the local dealer told me. And uh, I believe it's two years. Um, I don't know whether the battery is covered in the warranty. That's what I need to find out. And um, I bought this machine from another enthusiast. Uh, last year, do you remember? I, I have a, a, a video uh, showing my unboxing of this uh, Equinox that was slightly used. And it was working perfectly, okay? It was giving me about eight to 10 hours of uh, good battery life. Um, and um, I was not complaining at all. But a few months ago, and if you look at my a couple of my videos that I was complaining, I maybe mean, you can look them up up here. Um, I was complaining about uh, the Equinox dying on me. Take a look. Uh, matter detecting will resume later, maybe in a few days, tomorrow. Uh, my Equinox ran out of battery. It's all drained out. Hey people, so this is gonna be the last coin of the day. Seems to me that this is another witty, yes, yet another witty. And the reason I had to depart is because my mind, <laughs> my equino died on me. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. I did not realize then that they were lasting like about three to four hours. Um, it charged nicely uh, and then I had again like three or four hours so that was not uh, what I was expecting from the battery it's supposed to last about 12 hours uh, the last few things that the machine uh, was doing uh, while I was at the river for example was uh, it was restarting by itself a few times okay so I had to go to uh, the ground balance and all of that um, all the time so I said there is something wrong with this equinox uh, and then the last 
thing that it did was that uh, I had it in, I had it charging, and I see this constant blinking. So this is uh, the constant blinking that I'm talking about. Uh, it had been like that for about 18 hours. And uh, when you turn it on with the cable on, it turns on nicely. Okay. And uh, nothing happens here. I, I'm going to try with this penny so that you see. that uh, it detects nicely but uh, and then when you unplug it it stays on until you turn it off you try to turn it on again and it does nothing so that's the issue so most likely than not, there is a problem with the battery. So that's what I need to find out. Um, um, I believe that you only, you can only get a replacement battery from Mindla. I don't know whether that replacement is going to be uh, covering the warranty and the warranty, and then it's going to be uh, just them sending the battery, or if they want me to send the unit, I have no idea. Uh, I can venture and get uh, a battery and change it myself. It's so easy. It takes you like less than 10 minutes to change the battery. The battery pack is right here, all right? So all you have to do is to uh, unscrew this X type of uh, bolts, and then you remove this area here, and the battery is right there. All you have to do, and then have another X, uh, bolt that you had to remove and then the battery is accessible then and then you put a new one and that's it now just make sure that uh, when you put the x bolts back that they seal really good otherwise it might uh, seep in some water and then ruin the battery uh, probably the whole machine so what i do in that case is probably i add up some probably you know silicone around here just in case around here and and that's my story you know that has slowed me down uh, the other machines that I have are not as great as the Equinox except for the e-track so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to continue using the e-track while I resolve this problem with the Equinox okay so stay tuned So here is a last minute update. I just get off the phone with Steve from our regional mind lab office here in Illinois. And uh, he told me to clean the four metal contacts uh, for the magnetic cord right here, this contact here. Sometimes they produce like a patina or a layer that might prevent the battery from charging. I, I noticed some discoloration, uh, something minimal. So I follow his advice to clean those uh, uh, contacts using rubbing alcohol and a soft brush, a toothbrush. So I did that, but the problem continues. The thing is that I had to call again and put myself on, in line again. So uh, I gave a detailed explanation. Uh, when I turn uh, my machine on to check on the battery, uh, I have full bars, all right? So um, I don't know whether it's the battery or, or it's something in, in, with the electronics uh, in the panel. So uh, we'll have to wait now until they call me back and then I let you know what happened, okay? So stay tuned.